Peace, peace, family. We're going to go ahead and go over steps 11 through 20 on the responsive web design. Go ahead and go into our curriculum. Hit step 11. We're going to start with step 11. It says a link text must be placed in between the opening and closing tags of anchor element. So we're going to put a text in between these two anchor elements. And we're going to put link to cat photos. Oh, pictures. Link to cat pictures. That should pass. Step twelve. You could turn any you could turn any text into a link, such as the text inside of a P element. And we're gonna turn the cat photos inside of a into a link. We're gonna put the anchor inside that P element. Put our H R E F equal sign. Copy and paste the link. Command C. Copy and paste. Command V. Oh, Command V. Put that up there. And we're going to put our closing anchor on the outside of that photos. Submit. Go to the next step. Now that you turn the text cat photos inside the P element into a link, you don't need the second element below the P element. Delete the entire anchor. So we're going to delete this entire entire. Go to the next step, step 14, to open the links in, in, in a new tab, you can use the target attribute on the anchor element. So we basically have to follow just like they did in the example code, put a target inside of that anchor. So TRGT equals underscore blank. We'll be right back after this quick ad. <laughs> so as you guys can see, man, it's pretty simple. Uh, and most of the time, when you don't know the code, you could just Google it. But getting these certificates um, are going to help us on our resume. And just having the skill in that back pocket helps us when we're trying to program something. So hope this helps out. Step 15. In previous steps, you used an anchor element to turn text into a link other types of content can also be turned into a link by wrapping it in anchor tags and basically we're going to turn this cat photos into a link so since i already did it on another one we're gonna delete that put a ref equals put our quotation marks command c Command V, close, and we already got our closure tag on the back side. Congratulations. Step 16, before adding any new content, you should make a use of section. A section element to separate the cat photos content from the future content. The section element is used to define sections in a document, such as chapters, headers, footers, or any other sections of the document. It is a semantic element that helps with SEO and accessibility. So we're going to put a section element to section this off. Then you're going to turn that down. Then you're going to put the closing tag at the end. It is time to add a new section, add a section element below the existing section. So we're going to create a new element for sections to create another section. Close it off with the closing tags. Submit. Within the section element, add a new H2 element with the text cat list. So we're going to add a new element, H2. Close the H2. Inside of that H2, we're going to put cat list. Next, when you add a lower rank heading element to the page, it is amplified that you're starting a new subsection after the last H2 element, added H3 element, H3, close, and we're going to name that one, 
Kangs, Cats, Love, Colon. Close it off. H3. Okay, step 20 to create an un, a UL list, unordered list of items. You can use the UL, and basically, I already did it, but you just put the UL, UL. Congratulations. There you guys have it. Steps 11 through 20. Hope that helps out. If you guys have any questions, don't hesitate to reach out to Vigilius underscore finery on Instagram. Let's get coding.